Hello, and this is Jetstream, and welcome to the Archive, where my knowledge is your power. This is where I document Autobots and Decepticons alike, and, well, make jokes at their expense, while trying my best to give you reasonable information. <laughs> anyway, today, we're going to be looking at Shadow Raker. Everybody was coming. They fought with expert timing There was Funky China Man From Funky Chinatown Yes, be it song indicates that he's a martial artist That's because he is! And he's a really good one at that He taught Drift everything he knew Well, at least back when he was called Deadlock But, um... Never mind, that's a story for another day As you can see, he's a sensitive, caring gentle little flower he just wants to take care of you look after you guide you he'll do anything to get what the frag he wants he's gonna use you abuse you and teach you martial arts and if you're game for that then that's good but anyway yeah that's basically what he does and how he does it it's his livelihood to look after innocent little bots and just basically turn them into his shadows to which he uses to his own advantage and gain. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for that. You can see why I'm not that interested. Because I want to do my own thing. But anyway, moving on. His design is that of a bug. That's right, a bug. Everybody likes bugs. Look at that face. Isn't he a lovely little bug? So yeah, he's a cool, very cool looking bug, I have to say. He cut six legs, he got those four purple eyes for whatever reason, and um, he shoots webs from his mouth. Oh, he could do that in bot all bug mode, it's just... why? Uh, the only thing I can find is the thingy cricket, a, a cricket that can make silk. So either he's shooting out silk or he's sil shooting out web. Either way, it makes no sense to me. That's right, the raspberry cricket. It still makes no freaking sense because he's clearly not a freaking cricket. He's a beetle. Well, he's a, he definitely looks like a beetle to me. Be a good beetle and come quietly. But anyway, moving on. To his advantage, able to stick his opponents to the walls and whatnot. He does have, well, of course, he's a martial artist, so therefore he's really, really good with swords. What a shocker. And though his transformation is, um, yeah, pretty nifty, he can, he can use that to his advantage. He can fly about doobly doo da dee 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 da dee Personality-wise, he's, um... I seem to recall you were the one who abandoned me, Deadlock. Now, how was that honorable? And you stole these two from my tender care when you left. Honor dictates you return them to me, and that you all receive punishment for your betrayal. He has held you close in fear of losing you, as I did with him. Well, getting a little close there, aren't you, dude? You're only closer, and you might as well kiss him. Yes, I must kiss. Mwah! Yeah, that got really weird. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, he's quite the deceptive guy, isn't he? He comes across as quite this charming, quite softly spoken kind of guy. And then you get to really, really know him and see the dastardly guy that he is. You lie and betray as well as your teacher. Who learned from you? Yes, you should be proud. Clearly not that nice. However, he does have that really kind of like um softness to him that makes him quite likable and he uses that to his advantage. And his uh, first appearance and only appearance is in season 3 episode 9, Out of the Shadows. Yeah, I'm a little sad that we don't see him again, but I can understand why we don't see him again. He's a very nice and interesting character, don't get me wrong. But it's just, he's served his purpose. 
He gave Drift his backstory, and that's really about it. But it is a very, very, very good backstory, and it does make us think, oh wow, maybe there is still this place on Cybertron that he still has all these Decepticons thinking that this is the only way to live. I think that's probably no longer going to be the case, however, because, well, if he's not there, then either someone else is going to take control of this place, or it's going to collapse and they're going to think, well, what's the point? He's not here to look after us anymore. Let's go on a rampage! <laughs> But it does open a lot of possibilities for the future. And I really hope that is used. So anyway, this has been Jetstream. Like and subscribe for more content. And remember, by controlling the web, I control the world. In transmission. <laughs>